Hi, I'm Mike and welcome to Gear Guide. This is a review of the top three video doorbells. The Ring, Ring Pro, and Skybell HD. I have been using the Ring for a year and it has quickly become one of the gadgets that I can't live without. Video doorbells have several benefits. First, you can see who's at your door. Imagine you're watching TV and someone rings the bell. Is it your buddies or someone trying to sell you something? Now you can see who it is on your phone and then decide if it's worth running to the door mid game. But wait, there's more. You want to answer from the comfort of the couch? Now you can. You can talk to the person right from your phone. You can also do this from anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. This brings us to the second big benefit, security. If someone is going to break into your house, they're probably going to ring the bell first to make sure that you're not home. Now when they do, you can tell them that you can't come to the door. They can't tell if you are home or not. Third, you can see when packages are delivered. So now you can see why I could never get rid of my video doorbell. I evaluated each of the three video doorbells on size, video quality, motion detection, field of view, app and website, cloud storage, and any additional features. So which video doorbell should you get? That's going to depend on your situation and what features are important to you. The first thing to check is if you have power to your current doorbell. If you don't have power or don't have any doorbell, your only option is the ring because it can run on batteries while the others require power. If you do have power or can run power to the door, then you have some choices. Each of these has a slightly different size and shape. The Ring Pro is the smallest at just under two inches wide and four inches tall, while the Ring is two and a half inches wide and five inches tall. The Skybell is circular and then two and three fourths inches wide. Video quality. Here is video from each of the doorbells in different lighting situations, daylight, low light, and no light. Skybell wins in video quality hands down. It's really apparent that the Skybell video is a lot better than either of the rings in terms of color and details. Even in low light or no light, the Skybell has the best video quality. It has a light on the top of it that shines upwards and illuminates the area in front of it. The rings both use infrared light, so there is no visible light to alert people you are recording, but since it's using infrared light, the video is in black and white. Motion detection. The Ring Pro was the best at motion detection, followed by the Ring. This is what the apps look like when defining where to monitor. They both use the video camera image to detect motion. This allows you to define zones that you want to monitor for motion and those that you do not. This reduces the number of false positives while ensuring you capture relevant motion. While the Skybell uses a traditional motion detector, similar to one you would find on motion activated lights, Skybell just gives you three settings, high, medium, and low sensitivity. This gives you less flexibility to define which area you want to watch for motion. Another shortcoming of this system is that the Skybell does not start recording until after 10 to 30 seconds of motion, depending on the sensitivity you set. Here's an example of how quickly the Ring Pro starts recording. I'm dropping off a package and the Ring Pro is the first to start the video recording, followed by the Ring, then the Skybell. Then in this next example, I'm going to pretend to steal the package. Running up, the Ring Pro is the first to start the recording, then the Ring, then the Skybell HD. Then in this final example, I'm coming out of the front door. Ring Pro, first to start, then the Skybell is actually second, and then the Ring. So the Skybell is quicker to activate when it's a closer up motion. Field of view. The ring has the tallest field of view. I use this to see if I have any packages on the ground in front of my door. On the Ring Pro and Skybell, you would need to have the camera several feet further away from your door to have the ground in the field of view. If you just want to see visitors' faces, this isn't a problem. App and website. 
The rings use the same app, so we're only comparing two apps, Ring and Skybells. Both apps work fine, but I prefer the Ring's look and feel. It has that clean, simple Apple look to it. Ring also has a website you can log into and see your account info and recordings. Ring also recently launched a desktop app that gives you all the same capabilities as the mobile app. With Skybell, you do it all on the app. The thumbnail image on the Skybell app is a handy feature to quickly see what is on that video. When your doorbell records someone at your door, the video files are sent to Ring or Skybell and they store the video files on their servers so you can then watch those videos at a later time. This is called cloud storage. Skybell gives you seven days of free storage while Ring charges you $3 a month or $30 a year per device for six months of storage. Considering I've not yet needed to look back more than seven days, this is a big advantage for Skybell. You buy the device and that's it, no fees. No fees. No fees. Additional features. Skybell gets a lot of the small things right. For example, on Skybell, you can silence the doorbell if you're on a call and you don't want your dog to go nuts or wake your sleeping baby when it hears the chime. On Ring, you can only turn off the inside chime, but the outside doorbell will always make a chime sound. Skybell also has an optional wedge mount that adjusts the viewing angle 15 to 20 degrees. I ended up building my own for my Ring so I could see packages left at my door. The Rings have an optional indoor chime that plays a sound when someone pushes the button. This way you can locate the chime anywhere in your house and you don't need your old doorbell chime. And the winner is the Ring Pro. The Ring Pro is the overall winner based on its advanced motion detection. It was the best at identifying relevant motion and was able to record the entire event starting a few seconds before the motion occurred. The picture was not as nice as the Skybell, but it's good enough. In second place is the Ring. Compared to the Ring Pro, the Ring's video quality is a little lower and so is its motion detection abilities, but still usable. The Ring is a good lower cost alternative to the Ring Pro. Also good if you don't have power since it has a built-in battery. In third place is the Skybell. The Skybell has amazing video quality and no fees for cloud storage, making it the lowest cost option when you factor in cloud storage. But it was the worst at motion detection, which is a pretty big compromise. The video quality won't matter if it's not recording. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you have any questions.